Bang bang niner gang. Bang bang niner gang. Bang bang niner gang. Bang bang niner gang. So I don't know if I remember how to do this shit, but here we fucking go. Welcome back to my motherfucking channel. And welcome me back too, because damn bitch, it's been a long time. So just like last year, I'm going to be filming a Super Bowl inspired series. But hold up, since my motherfucking team is in the Super Bowl, we ain't doing no motherfucking Chiefs looks. We're only sticking to all uh, 49er looks. So please stay tuned for this series. I'm brushing out my brows with my Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 brush. Before I fill them in, I'm going to be carving out my eyebrows with my Maybelline Master Concealer in the shade Light with my MAC 212 brush. I know I've been gone forever and I said I wasn't going to do that to you guys anymore, but honestly, I've just been fucking living life. Um, I didn't even get to finish my... What was I doing? The Halloween series? I literally have a... um. A video of a look that I didn't even finish editing so I didn't even get to post it I still have it I mean I could finish recording it I mean I'm sorry I could finish um, editing it and posting it right now if you guys like to see it honestly it came out pretty badass and it was pretty easy but I mean I don't know that way it could already be up for next year's Halloween I guess I mean this year's Halloween holy shit um, but yeah, let me know. Let me know in the comments. And for the top of the brow, I'm taking in the same concealer with my e.l.f. concealer brush. Damn, look at me fucking up. It's been how long? Since October? September? So a good three, four months since I've uploaded. So bear with me as I get a hang of it again. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Granite with my Anastasia of Beverly Hills number 12 brush. And I'm just going to do very light hair-like strokes to fill them in. Now I'm adding my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer with my finger. I'm going to start off by highlighting my brow bone with my MAC Single Shadow in the shade Nylon. I'm taking the shade Sandalwood from my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette and I'm picking that up with my Morphe M513 brush. And I'm just buffing this color into the crease and I'm using this as a transition. What is up with everybody though? Like, I was gonna do like a voiceover like I usually do, but I was just so excited to, I mean, one to start recording just in general. I've missed doing my videos to be honest even though they would stress me the fuck out because <laughs> the editing's a lot, you know, it's so time consuming but I did miss it still and two because I'm just, you know when you're excited and nervous and you won't like shut the fuck up? You're so like chit chatty, that's how I am with the Niners going to the Super Bowl. I'm just like, I literally had a nightmare last night about it. That's how stressed out I am about it. <laughs> but I'm hella excited. I'm so pumped. I literally went to so many games this year. Well, this season, whatever. And I'm grateful I did. Speaking of which, I have a funny ass... Well, it's not that funny. It's just kind of damn lolita story time you know um but i don't know if i should share it because i'm like one of those people that's super paranoid so i feel like if i do talk about it like i'm gonna get in trouble for it <laughs> it's one of those things like just me being a fucking traviesa per, per usual but yeah let me know if you guys really want to listen to that story time i'm just like really paranoid like i said but if enough of you guys want to um listen to my story time about what happened at the Levi Stadium a couple weeks ago <laughs> let me know and I guess I'll fucking risk getting in trouble again but whatever okay so now with the Morphe M506 I'm picking up Maneater Bomb and I'm also blending this into my crease but I'm not bringing it up as high as I did with uh, Sandalwood and honestly, I was blending that 
shade sandalwood for like an unnecessary amount of time. <laughs> and I'm winging out this shade just a tiny bit. Now with the same Morphe brush, I'm picking up cocoa and I'm going to be applying that to the outer lid. Whenever I'm going to apply any black, usually it's to the outer eye. I always want to have like a transition shade and usually it's um, like a deeper brown or something. Something in between the main color that I have applied in my crease and black. In this case, it's this um, chocolate brown. That way when I start applying the black shade, which in this case is black truffle from the same palette with the same brush, um, I don't have any harsh lines. I have a, a pretty smooth transition from um, one color to the next. And I'm packing on as much black as I can. That way I have a pretty deep um, outer lid. You always want to start off with a little bit of product though, especially when you're working with black eyeshadow. Whenever I get to where the colors meet, I always do it very, very light-handedly. Basically that the bristles are barely touching my eye. So I'm about to cut my crease with my Maybelline Master Concealer and my Morphe M170 brush. I never really do cut creases anymore. I always go for the, like, what is it called? Like, I don't know, more blended look. And they're so much quicker too, so, yeah. I haven't done this in so long. And the best way for me to get the sharpest cut crease is when I get super, super close to the mirror. Like I'm basically about to jump in. And also don't forget to blend the concealer into the shadow right here. And then I always like to go back with the tiny bit of, of shadow, basically whatever's left on the brush, and blend that out a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm taking two shades from the James Charles palette, and it's going to be... Fuck, I don't even know what they're called. <laughs> I have to look them up, but it's going to be this shade and this shade right here. And this shade, I'm just adding it to the front of the eye. Now with the other shade, I'm going to be applying that over the center of the eyelid. Without adding any extra shadow, I'm blending out the edge of the black and the shimmery color. Now with the Morphe M507, I'm adding sandalwood from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette. I'm picking up Man Eater with the Morphe R43 brush, and I'm going to keep that closer to the lower lash line. With the same brush, I'm taking the black shade, which is black truffle, and I'm keeping that way closer to the lash line. I'm highlighting my tear duct with a tiny bit of the same highlighter that I used on my brow bone. Okay, so now I'm going to do some liquid liner. It is the NYC liquid liner. Now I'm cleaning up my wing with my Maybelline Master Concealer and my e.l.f. Concealer brush. Okay, so now for the glitter, I'm going to be adding this Bisu glitter. Um, I got this in Mexico. Let's see if it focuses. It's just such a pretty, like, holographic gold glitter, and it is in the shade 23. And over that, I'm going to be adding this really chunky glitter, which I believe I got in Mexico too. So as glitter adhesive, I'm going to be mixing it in with the Maybelline Clear Brow Gel. Okay, so the glitter, I'm only going to be applying it to the center of the eye. That's how I'm going to start off at least. And I'm going to see how that looks and see if I want to add it to the front of the eye as well. Now I'm going in with the chunky glitter and I'm just pressing that in. And I actually love um, how it looks with the glitter in just the center. I don't know, I might have liked it better without the chunky glitter. 
but it looks cute as fuck either way. Yeah, it still looks bomb. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do my face off camera. Okay, so now I'm back and we're going to finish off the eye look. So I'm going to go in with my MAC eyelash curler and curl my lashes. Now I'm tie-lining my eyes with my Wet n Wild pencil liner in the shade Baby Scott Black. And I'm going to add that to the top and the bottom. To the lower lashes, I'm going to be adding some of the Urban Decay Perversion um, Mascara. And for my falsies, today I'm using these KTB Lash falsies, and these are in the style Alessandra. Alright guys, so here we have the first look for this year's Super Bowl series. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more videos. If you guys have any ideas that you want to shoot my way, for sure let me know. And of course, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe before you guys head out. I'll see you guys in the next video.